and PhD. And then if I don't go to school, then I'll go to Testing, one, two, three. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Aggie Stadium here on the campus of North Carolina A&T State University for football action as your Aggies host the Eagles of North Carolina Central University. Today is Senior Day. We'd like to welcome and congratulate all of our senior student athletes, managers, and athletic trainers who have played a critical role in displaying what true Aggie pride looks like on and off the playing field on this season. On the field, congratulating our seniors today, our Chancellor Harold L. Martin Sr., Director of Athletics Earl Hilton, and Head Football Coach Rod Broadway. First joining us today is Jermaine Brownlee of Orangeburg, South Carolina. Jermaine is a Management Information Systems major and has served four years as the Equipment Manager for the Aggies. He is escorted today by his mother and his aunt. Next, we have Leon White of Brooklyn, New York. He's also managed the Aggies for four years. Leon is a marketing major. <laughs> then we have Messiah Davis of Brooklyn, New York. He served as an athletic trainer for the Aggies and is a sports science and fitness management major. After graduation, he plans on enrolling in the physical education graduate program here at North Carolina A&T. Next, we have Bridget Boone of Durham, North Carolina. She has also served as an athletic trainer for the Aggies. She is a sports science and fitness management major with a concentration in business. Upon graduation, she plans on pursuing a doctorate in physical therapy. Boone is escorted by our parents, Jamie and Gregory Boone. And now for our senior football athletes. First, from Brownsville, New Jersey, number four, Derek Gould. Gould has been an important part of the Aggies receiving core for four seasons. He has done an exceptional job as a special teams player, using a combination of size and speed to be successful. Derek has made 16 career receptions for 218 yards. The longest reception of his career was a 35-yard catch against Winston-Salem State in 2010. He's escorted by his mother, Miss Malicia Showers, Sister Lillian Showers, Uncle Raymond Showers, and Cousin Dante Showers, and Deja Showers. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Derek Gould. Next from Fuque Marina, North Carolina, number five, Ben Bender. Ben has been a vital part of the Aggie defense for four seasons. He also has played a role on special teams. He'll be playing in his 34th career game today. He has made 11 starts for the Aggies with 87 career tackles, five sacks, and six tackles for loss. His full name is Benjamin Ebo. Hemans Bender. He's escorted by his mother, Miss Isi Tamaloki, and brother, Bubune Owusu. From Fuque Marina, Ben Bender. From Atlanta, Georgia, number eight, Mr. Wallace Miles. Now he's going to be a kicker, but he has been so much more over his four year career. He broke the Aggies' single-season school record for receiving yards on November 12th when he passed Herb Harbison's 905 yards, set back in 1985. If he has 75 yards receiving in today's game, he will become the first Aggie ever to have 1,000 yards receiving in one season. He also needs only nine catches in today to pass Harbison's 
Jackson for the motion of session, which currently stands at 172. He enters today's game with 62 receptions this season, needing only two more receptions to break the school's single season record. To date, Miles has made 164 career receptions for 2,115 yards and 11 touchdowns making him only the second receiver in school history to surpass 2,000 receiving yards in his career, joining Herb Harbison. Miles is being escorted today by his mother and father, Mr. and Mrs. Marvin and Annette Miles, and his sister, Claudia Miles. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wallace Miles. From Danville, Virginia, number 20, Justin Farrell. Farrell has performed multiple duties during his North Carolina a t football career and has been successful at every task. He has returned kicks, punts, and played safety and corner during his tenure. He recorded five interceptions in 2009 to earn first-team all-conference honors. In the following year, he returned to a school record three kickoffs for touchdowns to earn first-team all-conference honors as a kickoff returner. During the same season, he was named second-team all-conference as a defensive back. This season, he returns to the cornerback position position he played as a freshman and currently leads the NBAC in interceptions and pass breakups. Farrell has nine career interceptions, 28 pass breakups, 165 tackles, three kickoff returns for touchdowns, and over 1,500 all-purpose yards. Earlier this season, he was named National Special Teams Player of the Week by the Sports Network after blocking two field goal attempts against Morgan State. He is a three-time All-Conference Special Teams Player of the Week and is being escorted today by his daughter, China Farrell, sisters Danielle and Delina Farrell, and nephew, Takias Farrell. Ladies and gentlemen, number 20, Justin Farrell. From Oxon Hill, Maryland, number 22, Tony Coles. Coles is a versatile player who has assisted the Athi offense with his tenacious blocking skills and his ability to break tackles. He is lined up as a tailback, a fullback, and a tight end over his three-year career as an Aggie. Coles attended West Hills Community College before playing in 29 games for A&T with 10 starts. He has run the ball 40 times for 132 yards. He has four career receptions for 44 yards. And he is escorted today by his father and his mother, Mr. and Mrs. Eugene and Denise Coles from Oxon Hill, Maryland. Number 22, Tony Coles. Next from Troy, North Carolina, number 39, Alan Jones. Jones has been a steady presence on the North Carolina A&T football team for four seasons. His dedication to the program and his work ethic has provided the coaching staff with constant leadership. He has contributed on the field through special teams play and has played in 11 games for the Aggies. And today is being escorted by his mother, Miss Cavadas Torn, brother Dadrian Jones, and family friend, Mr. Linwood Bullock. Ladies and gentlemen, number 39, Alan Jones. From here in Greensboro, number 48, Mr. James Weeks. He came to A&T as a walk-on and has turned himself into one of the most valuable players on the field. Over his four-year career, he has handled the long snaps on field goals, extra points, and punts. In 44 career games played, none of his snaps have directly led to an Aggies turnover. And he's escorted today by his father and mother, Mr. and Mrs. Dennis and Sandra Weeks, and his sister, Adrian Weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, number 48, Mr. James Weeks. Next, from Durham, North Carolina, number 58, Brent Walker. Walker is a four-year starter for the Aggies at center. Today, he will be making his 43rd start for the Aggies. He has played in 44 games and missed only one game in his career. Throughout his career, regardless of the coaching staff, he has been labeled the leader of the Aggies offensive line, and he normally has one of the highest grades of any lineman from week to week. On September 26, 2011, he was named MEAC Offensive Lineman of the Week after helping the Aggies offense post 232 yards in rushing. He has been the leader on the offensive line that has made Michael Ferguson and Mike Mayhew two of the best running backs in school history. He is escorted today by his mother, Miss Robin Walker, godfather, Mr. Carlos Kelly, and his sister, Miss Whitney Walker. Ladies and gentlemen, number 58, Brent Walker. From Baltimore, Maryland, number 77, 
Mr. Alex Harper. Harper has started all four years for the Aggies. Today he will be playing in his 42nd career game and making his 33rd career start. He has played in every position on the offensive line except center. Harper has made his biggest contribution as the Aggies starting right guard. If Mike Mayhew rushes for 43 yards today, he would have helped make you put together consecutive 1,000-yard seasons. Harper will play in the HBCU All-Star Senior Bowl in Atlanta, Georgia, in front of NFL starts. And today, he's being escorted by his mother, Miss Daniil, and brother Carl Robinson. Ladies and gentlemen, number 77, Alex Harper. From Greensboro, North Carolina, number 82, Julian Alford. Julian is one of two Dudley High School graduates being honored today. Joining James Weeks. He's been an excellent leader on and off the field, working hard and staying dedicated to the Aggies football program. While also amassing one of the best GPAs in the athletics department. He is a three-time Aggie scholar athlete and a two-time member of the NBAC Commissioner's academic team. Alfred is escorted by his father and mother, Mr. and Mrs. Vernal and Linda Alfred. Ladies and gentlemen, number 82, Julian Alfred. And last but certainly not least, from Mount Olive, North Carolina, number 97, Karan Nicholson. Nicholson has been a model student athlete during his time with the North Carolina a and football program. And he has helped with various campus initiatives, including assisting freshmen with moving into the resident halls. Nicholson is being escorted today by his father and mother, Mr. and Mrs. Leon and Vicki Nicholson. Ladies and gentlemen, number 97, Karan Nicholson. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and congratulate and celebrate all of our seniors. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of colors brought to you today by the 9th and 10th Horse Cavalry Association of the Buffalo Soldiers of Greater North Carolina. Clinton A. Brown is the president. Today's invocation will be rendered by Pastor Marcus Johnson from the Hungry Church in Greensboro.
Lord, you are good, and your mercies endure forever. From the rising of the sun to going down of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. Father, we pray your blessings upon this day. Father, we pray that you bless every player, fan, coach, and official. God, and at the end of the day, regardless of the outcome, may we give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name. Please remain standing for the playing of Lift Every Voice and Sing, followed by the National Anthem, being performed today by the only band representing the state of North Carolina in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade 2012, the award-winning Blue and Gold Marching Machine of North Carolina, A&T.